challenge for the 100 day video challenge um, and basically what I want to do is celebrate Memorial Day weekend by contributing this video to all the veterans and heroes that had served in the armed forces um, as you well know I don't do scripts I don't I don't do scripts on my show but this particular poem had to be written out and uh, it's a poem by Win Linda Ellis she is the author and, cre and uh, creator of this poem and this poem has been an inspiration to everybody of all walks of life, all ages. When you listen to this poem, I want you to take a deep breath and suck it in, take it in. Live in the moment, deal with it. My friend Rich Guzman said to me, live in the moment, and it's true, you have to live in the moment. I've always lived in the moment, as you can see with the A.R.D. show. Every time I'm doing something, I'm staying positive. I'm always doing something good for someone else, and at the same time, it's helping me grow personally, spiritually, and business-wise. So let me go to my cell phone and um, get the poem. It's called The Dash. I read of a man who stood to speak at the funeral of a friend. He referred to the dates on her tombstone from the beginning to the end. He noted that first came her date of birth. And, sorry, I'm getting a little... It touches me when I read this. Um, he noted that first came her date of birth and spoke the following date with tears. But he said what mattered most of all was the dash between those years. For the dash represents all the time that she spent alive on earth. And now only those who loved her know what that little line is worth. For it matters not how much we own, the cars, the house, the cash. What matters is how we live in love and how we spend our dash. So think about this long and hard. Are there things you'd like to change? For you never know how much time is left that can still be rearranged. If we could just slow down enough to consider what's true and real and always try to understand the way other people feel. And be less quick to anger and show appreciation more and love the people in our lives like we never loved before. If we treat each other with respect and more often wear a smile, remember that this special dash might only last a little while. So when your eulogy is being read with your life's actions to rehash, would you be proud of the things they say about how you spent your dash? I like that poem. That poem was written by Linda Ellis, and I'm gonna tell you something. If you really think about it, and you look at those tombstones here on this Memorial Day weekend, think about how